Welcome to b b m i Cooking Show. Show. We're in Margaret River this weekend. It's a long weekend in Perth. So we hang out here with a few friends. And we've decided to have a small party where we're going to cook and yes. serve some champagne. Yeah, this long weekend is a bit hard to find shops that's open. Okay. So I'm just going to do a bit of a cheating recipe here. This is actually my husband recipe for some um, cocktail party sort of snacks. Do you think? So it's the beef bowl with only three ingredients. So you have um, 500 grams of, um, I use four star beef mince, and probably two cups of grated zucchini. And I actually squeeze out the excess liquid in there. And this is the cheating bit. I have this um, chicken noodle soup in the pack. So it will be... <laughs> is that what adds the flavor to the meat? Yes, balls? and it actually binds them together. So basically, you just put them all together and form them into balls. That's it. It's pretty easy. So I'm just going to put all the ingredients in the big, in a big mixing bowl. And mix them together. Okay. So now that the mixture is just all combined, we're just going to form them into balls, beef balls, in any size that you like. Mimi, you can help me. Sure, Libby. <laughs> How big do you want them? Like this? Can we say gold? Okay, I think so. Okay. You can form them into patty as well, if you prefer. So, one round is yeah. Okay. Okay. Bibi, I finished rolling them, so what do we do now? Well done, Mimi. Um, we should just pan fry them now. Okay. So just on low, medium heat because you want them to cook through. Otherwise, you can make them into patty size. So sure, it'll cook easier. Yeah, yeah, the shape of a patty, then it will cook faster. So basically, we're just going to pan fry them. In the meantime, maybe let's have Let's go shape. drink some champagne. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. So when you're having a party and sometimes you, what, you would like to serve champagne, um, there are some champagnes at great value, under $30. So We're just trying out some. Yes, we would like to go. try them out and review them. Yep. So the first one is Champagne Verve Monsigny, which is available from Aldi. And it's a Premier Crew. So what do you think of this one, Bibi? The nose is a bit... Slightly vanilla and stone fruit. And I find saffron in there. Mm -hmm. And um, color is pretty pale. Pale, pale straw color. And the body is quite light, isn't it? And yeah. Holding a little bit short. Yeah, but the length is short. It's got a very pleasant vanilla taste to it. Yeah, it should be quite easy to drink. I very mean. easy to drink. Good for a, a small party. And what about the next champagne? This is called Champagne Royal Montcourt. So you can, um, you got this from one of the major chain in Australia. Called First Choice Liquor, also under thirty dollars. And at first comparison, you can see that this is a much darker golden color. Mm. And on the nose, it's a bit more yeasty. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and then fruit, quite fruit driven on the nose as well. Yeah, and it's slightly, it's a slightly heavier champagne. Yeah, a bit more a, complex. A bit of a brioche taste, but also quite short, just like the previous one. Yeah, but mm. we don't really know what is the dosage for this stuff, but I think it should be relatively... Yeah, because there's no information on the bottle whatsoever. Yeah, it could be relatively high, we suspect. And um, But this one has the very um, apricot palette mm -hmm. and melon. And a little bit of melon, yes. Yeah. So which is your preference, Vivi? I actually like this one. The, the Royal Hong Kong? Yeah. Me too. I think I will score this an 89 and this one an 87. I will, I think, consistent. 88, 86. Always one point below me. <laughs> Always a bit harsher. <laughs> let's get, um, get on to our party preparation. And let's go serve our friends. Correct. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. The appetizer is ready! Oh! Oh wow! Oh, wow. Oh, that looks very nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>